tips series with something you have all been asking me for, and that, of course, are the dreaded fouettes. Um, we've all look, ask, been asking me, what can I do? How can I improve them? How can I get to the you know, magical number of 32? Um, I wanted to keep this video brief and short just to give you some ideas, things to start thinking about. Um, as with this technique tip series, and we'll be building on this, definitely going back to that series. So for today, all of these tips apply to flat shoes, point shoes. Obviously, I'm not going to do point shoes in here. This little room is a little bit scary with the floor to turn in point shoes, but all of these tips apply. The first thing you have to think about with fouette is to break it down. Essentially, if you're trying to do 32 fouettes, you're doing 32 releves. And if you can't just do 32 releves without falling over or collapsing or something, you're not going to be able to do 32 times turning. So what I advise you guys to do is just do a bunch of one-legged releves at the bar, in the center, in your point shoes, and if you can't get up there and hold, and get up there and hold, and not have calf problems or ankle problems, that's where your strength starts. It's just going up and down on one foot, you know, again at the bar or in the center. Um, flat shoes, point shoes. The other thing about fouettes is you need to figure out where your weight is. You just, again, breaking it down front, side, and up. If you can't do front, side, and up without staying, or maybe you're going, falling this way, you're falling this way, it's, it's just figuring out which way you're going. Also, as we've been talking about online, in my online classes, you want to keep your hips level. So it's really just about keeping it level because then we don't get this, and that's where you start to tip. Fouettes are definitely all about the supporting side. So as you're fouetting, think of more of the supporting side rather than the working leg, and it'll help you. Because watch, this is wrong. If you think about the working leg, you're going to start, you know, going somewhere. Think about the supporting leg and stay to the supporting leg and you're much more solid rather than falling. The other problem people have is they forget to go to the side. It's a lot of times front and can do it front and up. It's almost like front and up, front and up. And without going to the side, you're not getting any momentum. This is your momentum. Momentum. Both the arms and the legs coordinate. Front, side, and in. So if you miss side, you're in, but your arms are still out. Right? You have to. It's like this leg and this arm are on a string. And if they stay together, you can do this, the turn. So watch. You really want an open side. You should see second every time, right? Side, 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 right? I'm going side. You can actually see me side. And the other trick, a lot of people, and this is kind of a personal preference thing, they releve after they get to the side. They do down and up, down and up. I like releving early and pulling my leg in while I'm already up. I'm up, 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 up. See, and I have time, because my leg is side, I'm in, and I have time. So try and relevate early so you can establish the side and bring it in. Establish the side and bring it in. The final little trick, and again, we can elaborate further if you guys are still having problems, is your chest. If you start to turn and panic, and you're like this, right? If this is also, it's about being side. Everything is open and in. Everything is open and in. Keep the chest lifted, right? It's lifted up, 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 right? Rather than, see, it's so much harder to get around if you're like this. So this all works simultaneously. Keep the chest open, hit side, bring it in. Chest open, hit side, bring it in. All the 
while, it's your supporting leg. Feel like that's the only, this is weightless. Supporting side, second, bring it in. Supporting side, second, bring it in, okay? So make sure you're doing your releves. One foot releve, again, if you can't releve on one foot however many times, you certainly can't turn them. Really think about supporting hip. As you go up, go to it. Keep the hips level, right, no twisting. Really get to the side. Make sure the arms coordinate. And keep the chest open. Again, very, very short video. Hope it helped you. Let me know in the comments below if this helps you. You want me to elaborate further? Maybe we want to add some arms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. If you missed my video on how to write a dance resume, you can click it to watch. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I love you so, so much.